The two gangs, Boko Haram and Kasi 202, have been terrorizing and robbing residents in Venduk of their valuable items. As part of a strategy to try and find solutions, gang members, together with the parents, were divided into three groups to give their inputs. The Regional Crime Investigation Coordinator, Deputy Commissioner Abna Achas, advised the groups to dissolve as the law enforcement would do everything they can to protect citizens from criminal activities. Affecting our police operations in the region. Every weekend, somebody's been either killed or stabbed or arrested. It's not a good thing. Most of these people who are doing these things are very young men. People who were supposed to be at school, people who were supposed to do something else other than criminal activities. So we have been observing the activities of these gangs and we continue to observe them. We have to stop these gangs. We have to stop these criminal activities. You were supposed to be useful youth in the society. Your futures are still bright, but you are just ending up committing crimes, stabbing each other, fighting all the time. This is not a good thing. Not only for us as police or law enforcement officials, but also for the community that we are saving. It's not good, and it must come to an end. It has to stop, and uh, my appeal to the parents of these children who are in the gangs, we need to work together to make sure that these gangs are no more there. They are gone. Job opportunities, beneficiation from food bank distribution programs or monthly social grants, counseling as well as sport activities to explore their talents were among the demands made by the gang members in a bid to end their escapades. Venduk Mayor Moseka Dapwa says the town council cannot allow residents to live in fear of the alarming crime thus commended the initiative to end the situation now. And the good thing is that we came as stakeholders, even as a city police, even myself as the mayor, because we cannot allow crime to continue in this window, and particularly in the corners of the suburbs of Katutura, because enough is enough, and these complaints have been raised at many, many times in the walks of life where we are moving as councillors, as, as, as leaders, that we really need to do something. And this initiative, the extra mile of the councillor of Katutura Central, this is a clear testimony and a clear indication that he's trying to fight crime amongst the people in Katutura. And I think we just need to join hands with him and other honourable councillors, because according to them, they are also claiming that those who are perpetuating some of these criminal activities are also from other informal settlements, other suburbs in towns and everywhere. And I think we need to come together as a region in Commerce region and as residents of the city of Windu and with whatever resources at our disposals that we have as a central government, including the Ministry of Safety and Security and the Namibian Police to fight crime. Because our people are not happy with the situations. As much as we are saying it's a, it's, it's a free country where we are enjoying peace and stability, but with this type of behaviors, I don't think uh, as a country we are moving somewhere else. At the occasion, residents called for the closure of shibins in the residential areas, police patrols to be intensified with the assistance of the NDF, as well as the reintroduction of religious studies in schools, amongst other requests.